Live! Hi folks and welcome to Open Analysis Live AMA where we answer your reverse engineering questions. If you like this kind of stuff, go check out our Patreon. Lots more reverse engineering content there. With that, let's get into it. Okay, so uh, with moderator Benja questions out of the way, <laughs> <coughs> anybody have any last Benja questions? Actually, we do have one more Benja question which we should ask before we get into the more generic stuff. Um, Glesson Witch uh, is asking, uh, can you explain, Jordan, the advantage of using IL versus the pseudo C? Uh, I can explain, okay. but can you explain? <laughs> Oh, I want to. I want to hear your explanation. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Turn right. that fucking so, IL um, off. <laughs> That's my explanation. All right, all right. So, no, I'm kidding. So, the the there's a couple of them, um, and I will say we 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 kind of made a mistake as a company because we didn't like have a C version of our IL right away, and we called it high level IL, and it confused a lot of people. It was it's like we had a decompiler for a while before people knew we had a decompiler because we didn't say it was a CD compiler, because um, it wasn't exactly C formatted. Anyways, we have several different intermediate languages. You translate up between them. There are things that you can show in an IL that you can't show in, in C syntax. Like for example, in C, if you have a comparison, it, it's like less than or equal to, or less than, like that's that's all you have. Uh, but in assembly, right, it's actually either a signed comparison or an unsigned comparison. And when C generates it, it's gonna do it based on the types that it has. Um, but when you're doing type recovery, type recovery is hard at disassembly because you don't always know for certain uh, what the, the, the signedness of things are until you see things like a comparison where it's either a signed comparison or an unsigned comparison. So, uh, for example, if you have like vulnerabilities in software that are signedness issues, you, you can't see that in a C decompiler necessarily. Uh, you have to kind of like correlate back to the disassembly, but RIL actually shows you it's a signed or unsigned comparison. Um, so that's one of the examples. There's a bunch of other little differences, but the short explanation is there's things that, that C syntax doesn't support or awkwardly supports that we can just, you know, do in our IL because we're making up our own syntax anyways. Uh, uh, name parameters is another one, right? Like if you have a, like a name for a print, like I'm calling an API, I have the name of the parameter from the API side, but I may also have the name of the variable on my calling side. And I should, we show both of those in high level IL, but you don't see that in pseudo C because you're, you know, it's not C compatible to have that. Uh, I've seen other decompilers that do stuff like put comments in line in the parameter of like they'll do the variable name then they'll do like a slash star inline comment it's kind of awkward so um you know that's another little one there i uh, i have a note i have a note to add on to that but i just want to welcome karsten hey karsten tell me how to say your name <laughs> so i don't karsten. see it wrong What's karsten that? it's like karsten <laughs> karsten or struppige Struppige. <laughs> <laughs> So I, for the for those of you guys who don't know Karsten, that's uh, he's the guy behind uh, malware analysis for hedgehogs, and also trying to look more like me day by day, <laughs> shaving his head, <laughs> putting on glasses. Yeah, soon we'll be one. <laughs> the only thing I was gonna say about the IL is that like uh, the reason why I like it, and anybody Likewise. who saw. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, the delay. <laughs> the the uh, anybody who saw our streams where we did the deobfuscation uh, stuff, it, you'll see that there's so much information that somebody like me, who's maybe not the most uh, I don't know what you say, like not paying the closest attention to the C pseudo C syntax. There's so much information that's implied by the syntax, and it's much easier to see it explicitly in the IL. And so that's so for me, if there's something difficult that's happening at a compiler level, like especially obfuscation, that's me. That, that's the only time I really use IL stuff is for obfuscation, trying to deobfuscate things. But you can see specific, like everything is called out explicitly in the IL. So you can see exactly what's happening. Whereas I'm not always you know, I'm not always thinking in my mind like, oh yeah, this is gonna set these flags or this instruction is gonna like do this or whatever. Like there's a lot of implied stuff in the C pseudo C syntax. So that's just my take on it. The pseudo C I think is a lot easier for understanding high level program flow. And you guys, anyone who's watched me reverse engineer knows that I like the pseudo C because I find you can get a concept of the whole program flow very easily. But if you, 
if that's failing, <laughs> it's failing because of obfuscation specifically, and everything is fucked, it's better to look at the IL because then you can see exactly what's going on. Um, that's just my take on it. I know yeah. there's lots yeah. of other reasons for it, but. Yeah, well, the, the other way related is, you know, a lot of people will use kind of the way you're describing, you've got decompilation and disassembly, right? And so like, you've got your decompilation for your high level overview, you've got disassembly for, yeah, but I need ground truth or just decompilation is broken or, you know, we have, the advantage of our aisles in particular over anything else is that we have several aisles between. So you don't have yeah. to go like all the way to one extreme or the other, right? You can do something kind of, in the, you can do like medium level aisle where it's maybe more accurate than a high level aisle where some abstractions are happening, but not nearly as, as verbose as like a low, you know, low level or disassembly. So. You know. Sales pitch for Binja heard here. <laughs> I try not to over pitch. I try. <laughs> So that wraps it up. Big thanks to our panel of experts. You can go check out their socials here. Thank you very much. And if you guys want to see more reverse engineering content like this, in-depth tutorials, live streams, your questions answered, go check out our Patreon. Lots more stuff like that there. And stay tuned for the next question.